I was under the influence. Mm-hmm. I couldn't see it. Now I can really see it. Dude, everybody, my buddy, this one dude used to put his, he would start to get a little, do a little dust, you know, put, start touching his asshole, bro. By the end of the night, if we had a couple of bags, he'd have four fingers in his fucking ass, dude. He had like a, you know, some of those people eat their hair. You see those videos where people eat their hair, you know? He just had like a weird tick like that where he would just, I don't know what it was. He just like would, under the pants. He would go in the pants. Oh, in his ass, in his own ass. On Fridays, we're going to McDonald's. Really? Yeah. No matter, we were like, hell yeah. What that was get? like. Do you remember what you got? Shit. This uh, is the same. My mom would take filet fish, time. baby. Filet yeah. fish. Yeah. What an yeah. asshole. Yeah, I love that what filet a fish. Fancy ass kid. Fuck yeah, dude. What I still fuck? eat those. That's still my dessert. On Fridays, we're going to McDonald's. Really? Yeah. No matter. We were like, hell yeah. What that was get? like. Do you remember what you got? Shit. This is the same. My mom would take filet fish, baby. Filet yeah, fish. Fucking, what yeah, an asshole. Yeah, I love that what filet fish. What a fancy ass kid. Fuck yeah, dude. What I still fuck? eat those. That's still my dessert. Oh. So let me ask you a question, guys. Are you guys single men or what's... And let's go one at a time here. Let's start with you, Zephy. Are you single these days or what's what's uh, love looking like in your life? Have you started thinking about girls or that kind of... Or, or no. what, what happens at nine years old? I like thinking about food. Okay, yeah, me too. But... I, the game existed, and then I, I and then I existed. Um, <laughs> was it your uncle? Was but, it a neighbor? <laughs> well, the game was you, you and a buddy. You'd grab each other's wiener, right? Penis, they called it <laughs> in those days. Some of you guys call it penis, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you'd grab it, and the first person to get an erection lost the game, right? <laughs> <laughs> So it's like it's arm wrestling for a simple. It's the stupidest fucking game. No, it's not. No. Is it, bro? Simple. I mean, it is. Did you win? Did is, you ever dude. win? Or did you lose? Huh? Did you lose a lot? Or did you win a lot? Oh, I did real well one season. <laughs> uh, what is the gay chicken season? What Does that go from... It's it? more of a win. It's more, I would say it's an autumn game. I'll tell you what we did one time. So we had a dent in a car or vehicle or whatever you guys call them. And, um, <laughs> yeah. And, dude, we caught a couple of pigeons and got them to shit over the dent. Oh, you just held the pigeon over there? You yeah. kept feeding it? Squeezed it and a little? We didn't feed them. They'll shit pretty soon after you hold them. <laughs> and we turned it in, and when it had this kind of, you know, a uh, – kind of a just a shit finish i guess on it <laughs> and they didn't see the dent they didn't see the damage you know smart so that's kind of an old school thing i guess or new school <laughs> but welcome to trigonometry i'm francis foster <laughs> i'm constantin kissing and this is a show for you if you want honest conversations with fascinating people our brilliant guest today is already taking the piss out of us it's the amazing american comedian theo von welcome Bro, to trigonometry you guys have we call it autism. <laughs> I don't know what you guys call it, bro, but we got it over here. Everybody's got it. I am going to go. Yeah. I'd like to go. It's on my bucket list. I don't want to die on this planet, dude. Really? I don't want to, like, for real, for real. I don't want to die on this planet. Damn, that is a very rich thing to say. I feel like. <laughs> 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 <Just> like... <laughs> It really is. <laughs> I don't want to die with these poor peasants. <laughs> the rest of us are trying to find quarters <laughs> in our car to get that air machine to fucking fill up our tire at the gas station. And this guy's like, I'm going to die on will- this planet. Yeah. <laughs> so this one lady that used to do substitute teaching, right? Her son was had like a, his mouth was always real slippery. He had like a kind of a salivary deal. Disorder. I wouldn't say disorder, okay. <laughs> but he had like a, it's, it's a deal. He was missing a gasket on one of the edges. <laughs> I would say that. Just leaking. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, like you wouldn't fucking if he leaned his head to one side, dude. You're gonna have to dry him up. You know. But yeah, when I was growing up, they had finally got a buffet in our town, dude, and people were fucking <laughs> losing their mind. Right? Oh, dude, somebody shot out the windows, bro, from the inside, dude. <laughs> That's how excited people were. So they had a football player that played for LSU mm-hmm. University. Mm-hmm. This was university. And they had a man, um, and I'm not going to say a black man, but darker than, as dark, or as dark as you could get on earth. Yeah. And <laughs> he was in a mobilized, they kept doing fundraiser at the football games to raise money for this man, right? And fucking pay attention, you creep. <laughs> I've never heard that in my life. That was fucking hilarious. As dark, oh, I don't as, 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 dark as you can get on Earth. <laughs> as far as I'm not going to say he's black. <laughs> but he's, he's a dark man as dark as you can get on Earth. As far as, as we know. The point is, he's not. Earth. He's just saying. 
That we the sh- man had a, he was darker than than most. We don't know yeah. how dark it can get elsewhere. That's right. Is that true? I, I would imagine too. Yeah, I would Thank imagine you. that there's degrees of everything. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Do you have any like hobbies you like to do outside, like something else where you're not thinking about? Yeah, I like yourself? doing jujitsu, and I like doing um, what else do I like doing? Playing Wordle, playing Scrabble on my phone. Um, how do you feel when you're doing those things? You probably feel no anxiety when you're doing those things. Pretty chill, yeah. Yeah, that's what I it like is. talking to my brother. Um, those are all chill fucking having dessert. Having <laughs> dessert is a great moment. It's good, huh? That's a real good moment. Yeah. Fuck. That brings a lot of good feelings. I had a couple dessert. last night. Boy had too many. You'd rather be blind or dickless, dude. These days, probably dickless. I think I had a blind kid in my neighborhood when I was growing up, and uh, actually, you know, this dude was deaf actually, and and they beat him up for doing bad magic because he was always doing all of this and shit, and people thought he was doing magic with no tricks, and they fucking beat him. So a bunch you know, of other cool animals. Well, that deer had a ball all cap on. They're all deer. How actually, hard is that to hunt? Yeah, but I think now we'll, I will say this: showing that you've hunt, you've been out there and got something good is chicks good. Chicks dig that. A lot of chicks dig it. No, um, no, no, no. And then you go, you want some elk sausage? Right. No, that's no, a, no, that's no, no, his no. move. You can, but right. you can, and then you just write elk on your own dick and come back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking move, right Boss. there. At the lunch table, we get some kids who were mentals or a couple of them might have been mentals and a couple of kids that were well you know and we get there and sit them to make them drink milk and then tell jokes and do stuff and tell the one of them just blew milk out of their face you know and if you get some straight up just a couple mentals boy some straight up sawed off humans you get them to do you get them to first straight up blow leche out their dome dude that's America right there. Yeah, because vaping people usually blow it down their pant leg or blow it the like shirt, yeah, the turtleneck oh, out somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And there's even shirts I saw where it's made for vaping, secretly vaping. <laughs> it's a wetsuit. Really? It's like a uh, vaping shirt. I, I know that they absorbed- have pocket tees that hold your vape mm-hmm. in the corner. No, I'm talking about hold the fucking smoke. Oh, damn. Me. That ghillie suit. Dude, there was a dude next to me who didn't give a fuck on the flight. People would be like, vaping on flights. Full smoke. That's a black dude, bro. <laughs> Just say what you want to say, though. <laughs> After Joe videotaping this. <laughs> hey, hey, Theo, Theo, I, okay, look, can you, we gonna role play, all right? All right. You my girl, and you just gonna break up with me. Oh, shit. Just break right. up with me, all right? Just break up with you? Yeah. Can I, I'm just asking, can I use the N-word or not? I, I a. Hey, no, I'm just saying. I would always. I mean, see, hey, Theo, I don't care. But when we step out of here, I can't help you. Okay. <laughs> we had a dude. Um, when I was growing up, this dude, we stayed at his house one time. This guy Curtis, and he knows it. He has a big dick. I could tell by his name. He actually, bro, he has a big dick and a gay brother, dude. Damn. If you got a gay That's brother, a you have a big dick for a thousand percent. You know, guy. Or if you're know. a cop, cops got pack. The cops are packing dick. At the lunch table, we get some kids who were mentals, or a couple of them might have been mentals, and a couple of kids that were well, you know. And we get there and sit them to make them drink milk, and then tell jokes and do stuff, and tell the one of them just blew milk out of their face, you know. And if you get some straight up just a couple mentals, boy, some straight up sawed off humans, you get them to. Dude, you get them to first straight up blow leche out their dome, dude. Somebody had a table where they had all the cups of water, and we took it over right in the middle. And I'm just just flying on mushrooms at this point, dude. I'm you know, I'm looking, you know, the Lord's looking for me, you know, and I'm looking for him, you yeah, know. And we're yeah. gonna meet up that afternoon. But uh, and people were running by in this race, you know, it's tens of thousands of people in this race. And when they get close, someone would would try to get the water, and we'd be like, no, it's for Asian people only. <laughs> So you had so many people, and they're running. They have to keep going. There's t- there's a huge flow of people. They can't argue or discuss right, it. Right, right. And you'd be like, oh, oh, it's Asians only. And they're like, <laughs> and they just keep on like, Pass it out from dehydration yeah, yeah. a quarter mile down the road. All these Irish people Pile stacking up. up at the curb at the next turn, just boom, yeah. boom. And all Asian people were just so happy, Super bro. Hydrate. If you wear a leather jacket at a Mexican restaurant, well, you can just stay away from me. You can stay away from me. You can stay away from me. You've never masturbated? No. Oh my gosh, brother. Mm-hmm. Wow, man. What is that called? Is that what do you guys call that? 
Nothing really. There's got to be a special nickname. I think in gay culture, if it's a man in gay culture, a guy that's never kissed a woman is called a golden Oreo. Mm. So I wonder what that is. My God, brother. We did a bunch of mushrooms and we didn't, uh, I don't know, we weren't really in the race or anything. But at one point we took over a, a table. Somebody had a table where they had all the cups of water and we took it over right in the middle. And I'm just, just flying on mushrooms at this point, dude. I mean, I'm looking, you know, the Lord's looking for me, you know, and I'm looking for him, you yeah, know, and we're yeah. going to meet up that afternoon. <laughs> But, uh, and people were running by in this race, you know, it was tens of thousands of people in this race. And when they get close, someone would, would try to get the water and we'd be like, no, it's for Asian people only. <laughs> Knocks out Tyron Woodley in the sixth round to win the rematch. Um, good. Woodley doesn't throw enough punches, you know, and the fight is just a lot of like punch inner, you know, clutch or, you know, hug, punch, hug, punch, hug. They should lose a point if they hug. They should lose a point if they hug. Or see who's willing to take it to second base. If you're hugging whoever, you know, who's willing to, you know, go even further a little. I was the first one I had to quit my job full time. So I kind of got like, I was like, guys, are we doing this? Because I got to give up on Giggle. Like I had to quit Giggle. Everybody else was able to work both jobs. Q was still a fireman. Sal still owned his, it was still bartender in the old. Well, let's say, menu. look, still a fireman is a unique term yeah. as well. I'm not saying, I love firemen, right? Yeah. Especially if there's a fire going on. <laughs> the, the number one person you want to see. Yeah. <laughs> but when there's not a fire, dude. <laughs> They're basically people that are training for the hot dog eating contest. That's exactly right. Okay. Yeah. 